Santiago says, hi, I would like to know if someone can help me or advise me on whether it is possible to view the names of users who have logged into a site or document library in SharePoint Online. Thank you very much. Only if they've taken an action. That's the answer. Yeah. So as long as they've taken an action in which logging in and reading does not provide an action, then you can find it in the audit log. If you want to know if they've touched it, you're going to have to use a web analytics tool of some sort um, because the SharePoint out of the box analytics tool will only tell you if somebody has taken an action, made a change. It would also come down to if it's set anonymous and you've got it where they don't have to log in and then it's just a guest user, you're not going to then know at all. Well, going back to it, basically like any website, go in, add, uh, you know, a a tracker into the header for the page, and then you'll know everybody that yep. came across there. Google Analytics, Web Trends. One thing is that if you are looking at data and trying to track um, participation within it, and generally within SharePoint, like you want to know who they are, not allowing anonymous is the first step in knowing who people are as they get into your system. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. The link that I provided there actually, uh, Microsoft 365 reports in the admin center for SharePoint activity. Uh, there's basically you can get last activity date, files viewed or if, edited. If someone's taking an action now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, could you, could you, yeah, I'm trying to remember, like some kind of trigger, you know, just by somebody reading it, that it changes something just by a view, does it, can it trigger a change in a column to like create like a last accessed and with a timestamp? You could write a custom solution for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I, I know of custom it'd solutions. It has to be a UX level, and it would have to interact with the web layer, the front, the front end layer, because the back end layer wouldn't see it. Yeah. And this so, question is like yes. front end player kind of asking about their document rather than the more technical sort of back end. Just, mm -hmm. just the way the question reads. Yeah, it's like how many viewers did I have on my website versus how many people submitted a question. So, I mean, and also don't forget, you can click on your little eye or your details around the file. So if they're not even getting, if they don't know how to click around and you're a front end user, then you you do have some of your file information just sitting there. You can, and you've got all the little people down the bottoms, so, you know, little pictures of who and, and the links if it's set up. So <clears throat> they're coming right to the real basics. You do have document information. Have a look for it. Okay. Yeah, this that's one of those questions that um, uh, this this is the kind of stuff where you saw in the early days of SharePoint where people would go in and start breaking SharePoint right away, where they're trying to make it like every other website and things that are out there. It's like it's not built that way. It's not meant to do that. like. What are you trying to accomplish by tracking who even you know went in and logged into a site or library why yeah what does that brother. tell you well what but what does that tell you i mean it, it's only really relevant isn't it if they did, did something something yeah typically yeah Yeah. <laughs>